Hello students, let us see <coughs> two more examples on the curvilinear motion. Okay, a particle moves with constant speed of 3 meter per second along a path as shown in figure. Okay, so we are given that it's having constant speed of 3 meter per second. What is the resultant acceleration at a position on the path where x is equals to 0.5 meter? Okay. So this is the diagram x and y. So this is the path or path of the projectile or particle. Y is equals to 3x square is the equation. When it is here at this point, it has got a velocity of 3 meter per second. And it is said that it has got a constant velocity. So V is constant all along the curve. This point has the x coordinate 0.5. Okay. Now see how the it is being sorted. So since speed is equals to 3 meter per second and it is constant throughout at is equals to 0 x tangential acceleration is 0 simply because tangential acceleration means rate of change of speed so it is 0 at is equals to 0 and acceleration a is square root of a n square plus at square but here at is 0 so a is equals to square root of a n square that means a n only okay now a n is equals to v square by rho this we have seen in the earlier example as well okay so uh, now we have v it's a 3 meter per second okay but we don't have uh, this rho okay now to find rho let us use this y is equals to 3x square so we get dy by dx at 6x d2y by dx square at 6 okay and dy by dx at x is equals to 0.5 is 3 so this is the formula rho is equals to this formula we have used, used in earlier, ex, uh, earlier example as well 1 plus dy by dx bracket square whole raised to power 3 by 2 total divided by d2y by dx square okay and this comes out to be 2.15 meter okay so a is equals to <coughs> v square upon rho so v is 3 v square is 9 9 upon 2.15 it is 4.18 meter per second square a that means a n and a is equals to a n because a t is equals to 0 so total a is equals to 4.18 meter per second square okay good so next example a particle moves in xy plane with acceleration components ax is equals to minus 3 meter per second square and ay minus 16 meter per second square if its initial velocity v naught is 50 meter per second and directed at 30 degrees to the x-axis compute the radius of curvature of the path at t is equals to 2 seconds fairly simple example v naught 50 meter per second at 30 degrees to the x-axis so vx we can find out 50 cos 30 it is 43.3 and ui ux and ui 50 sin 30 it's 25 meter per second so now acceleration we are given it's a 3 meter per second yes given and ay minus 16 meter per second yes this is given next okay motion along x and y axis are uh, motion with uniform accelerations okay so v is equals to u plus at we will be using this equation in x and y direction vx is equals to ux plus ax into t plus vy is equals to ui plus ay into t okay at time t is equals to 2 seconds you are you put this values you get vx as 37.3 and vy as minus 7 meter per second okay now see this is a, one more formula for finding out rho 1 by rho is equals to vx into ay minus vy into ax divided by vx square plus vy square whole to the power 3 by 2 okay vx into ay minus vy into ax divided by vx square plus vy square whole raised to power 3 by 2 so putting the values into it we get 1 by rho as uh, 0.0113 so rho is 88.48 meter 
okay let us do one more example if rocket follows the path such that its acceleration is given by a bar is equals to 4i 4i bar plus tj bar meter per second square at t is equals to 0 it starts from the rest and at t is equals to 10 seconds <coughs> determine the speed of the rocket and radius of curvature of the path okay so at t is equals to 0 this is given and at t is equals to 10 we have to find speed and radius of curvature of the path okay so we are given a bar is equals to 4 i plus t j so a x obviously 4 a y it is t okay now a x is equals to d v x upon d t okay so d v x upon d t is 4 okay d, uh, now so d v x is equals to 4 into d t so obviously let us integrate this from 0 to v x so d v x 0 to t into d t what we get <coughs> vx is equals to 4t okay vx is equals to 4t okay now since the particle start from the rest okay so at t is equals to 0 hmm, at t is equals to at t is equals to 10 vx is equals to 40 meter per second okay and this vy is equals to integral of 0 to t t dt so it is t square by 2 okay and <clears throat> at t is equals to 10 vy is equals to 50 meter per second so speed of the rocket vx square plus vy square it is 40 square plus 50 square so it's a 64 meter per second <clears throat> next is to find out theta so theta is equals to tan inverse of vy upon vx so it is 51.34 degrees rho this is one more formula vx square plus vy square whole to the power 3 by 2 divided by vx minus vx ay minus ax vy actually nothing new this and the earlier formula is same there one by rho was there and this is just rho okay so putting all these values what we get rho is equals to 13 12.6 meter 